guys, Artosis here, bringing you some Cast from You Star League Season 4. This is the round of eight, and it is a best of five between Piano and Rush. This is uh, game number three, so if you missed games one and two, I definitely suggest you go check those out first. That being said, here we go. It is tied up one to one right now. Uh, definitely had some interesting games, some vulture play, of course, in that first game. Some very risky moves from Piano that did not work out. Uh, the second game, a bit of a rush, but, uh, you know, ends up working. So here we are, game number three, and this is going to be on Ringing Bloom. Uh, now, Ringing Bloom, of course, we've seen this map many times. You can see uh, we have the Overmind Cocoons. Those are just so that Zerg can actually make some sunken colonies to defend. We have that back natural that is, a lot of people go ahead and take right off the bat, like a 14 command center, very popular here. And that's probably why we see Piano going for a forward eight barracks. So he's going to be rushing. And if Rush goes for a, a fast command center, this could definitely end very, very quickly. Uh, you know, that is the most common build here is probably just command center first, but gasless expand would be right behind it, which is a uh, 15 command center after just a regularly timed 12 or 11 barracks. So uh, that would be something that might be able to hold on against this. Let's see what he does. Uh, well, right now it's not looking too hot for Rush. I have a feeling we're going to have a fast game here. It's going to go ahead and go for that command center first. And this means that, I mean, as this attack comes, it's going to be incredibly hard to hold. He, just, he doesn't even have a barracks started yet. And the first Marine is going to be popping out. Now, there are two SCVs from Piano going out across the map. Uh, he's scouting in two directions to make sure he can find him ASAP. Now, this one getting up here, look at this. So, Rush is actually kind of buying a little bit of time with this SCV. Puts a lot of damage onto that uh, SCV. And as he comes down, he's going to see a Marine. Now, as soon as he sees the Marine, he knows exactly what's up, and he knows just how difficult that this is going to end up being. All right, now this SCV running by, he is going to see another one. I wonder where he's going to put it. I think he might put it near some minerals so he can drill. We'll see where he parks it, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he just puts it somewhere like that. But anyways, two SCVs coming up, starting to attack. Here come the Marines as well. Still, the barracks only about three-fourths of the way done. Five SCVs being pulled. If Rush can hold this, he is a god. Let's see how this one goes down. A ton of SCVs being pulled over. 11 SCVs up. A bunker being made. This is going to force the engagement. More SCVs coming up right now from Piano. But the drill is here. Oh, that was a beautiful drill. And the Marines are actually stuck. This one on the low ground. Oh my god. I think that Rush has done it already. Now with his own barracks done, I mean, this seems to me to be held. Now, Piano's going to continue to push. He does have a lot of SCVs, but the bunker gets down. That makes this so incredibly difficult. Now there's only one Marine in here, so you can kind of ignore it. Piano continues to attack forward, has a lot of SCVs in here, targeting down any SCVs that he actually can. And in fact, Piano is leading as far as the worker count, but that's not going to last for long if they continue to fight in here, I would say. A lot of these SCVs starting to fall. And at the end of the day, <laughs> look at where we're at. 12 SCVs against 10. Of course, the command center had to get canceled early on. And I guess that makes it pretty darn even. Uh, I got to say, again, a big... Uh, a, a, a big move there from Rush, basically. This scouting SCV was so crucial. He saw what was coming, and then he set it over here so that he could drill his SCVs, just give them the mine command so they would slide through everything, trap the Marines up here. A little bit of Miss Micro from Piano, and it turns from a build order win into a game that honestly is pretty even. Like, at the end of the day, one more SCV for Piano, but it took longer for his SCVs, SCVs to get home. So I don't know if I would call this like uh, an advantage to Piano. Now let's see where they want to go from here. These Marines walking out. Going to see what, if they can put on some pressure or anything like that. Just going to push this barracks back for the time being. The four Marines here of Piano going up to meet them. Marine battles in TVT. Okay. Very cool. 
Uh, now, a command center going down for Rush, a command center going down for Piano. Already has that gas going up as well. No gas as of yet here for Rush, but he's got to get it pretty quickly. The four Marines actually running around these four Marines. And as that SCV comes down and he sees it, Look at this, he's just gonna make some more Marines to put into this bunker, so he's gonna be completely safe. I like the idea from Piano, but this time it's not gonna work out. Look at this, he comes up, targets SCVs as best he can. And I mean, you are just gonna lose these two Marines no matter what, there's nothing to be done here. Uh, so a lot of Marines still out on the map for him. Uh, a barracks? Oh my God. I, I didn't realize, but he lost his barracks to those Marines, and he hadn't started a factory. Oh my god. That's actually crazy. So now, four Marines are coming across the map. He doesn't have anything. There's no factory. He's building a barracks. What game is this? What am I even looking at here? These four Marines come up, and look at Piano. He has to dance these SCVs. Okay, he's going to go ahead, try to get the surround, but the micro here, very strong from Rush, targeting this, so he's down one at a time, and he's going to get a nice amount of kills. But I guess uh, Rush hasn't been producing SCVs quite as consistently. He is going to get his factory done way, way quicker, though, which is really nice. Wow, this has been one of the most bizarre Terran versus Terran games that... Pretty much I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it. It has been absolutely wild. Now, coming down once again with more Marines. Okay, we are actually about seven minutes in. Okay, just to, to put this into um, perspective here. There hasn't been a factory unit. Seven minutes in, like... Uh, Let's see. This is like if you're playing against Zerg, they already have Mutalisks in your base. If you're playing against Protoss, you're starting your third command center. Uh, if you're playing against Terran, well, you kind of have all your upgrades and you have four or five factories and you're thinking about going for a third base relatively soon. So all of that would happen in a normal game, yet all we've had so far are Marines and SCVs attacking each other. Absolute madness from these two. <laughs> and it's tied up one-to-one. -one. Definitely a very good series thus far. Now let's take a look at what they're doing. We have two factories here from Piano. Uh, he is making a couple of vultures, I think probably just because he knows he needs them out to defend a vulture that would be coming across the map. And in fact, it is. He gets the kill there on uh, the Marine, and he's going to go ahead and kill the SCV, but that means he doesn't get a full scout uh, because he did spend that time microing. So he doesn't actually see the starport. So that could come into play really heavily for Piano. Now up here, double add-on already, starport coming up as well. We have the armory being made. Second gas is already taken. Of course, second gas taken here as well. They're equal as far as SCVs go. Oregon adding a couple more uh, factories. Sorry, I kind of interchange his IDs, Piano and Oregon. He goes by both of them. Piano, a little bit more popular, but we see him using the ID Oregon here. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very strange game. And it's like you have to freestyle so heavily at this point as both players. Like, what are, what are you supposed to be doing? All Everyone's units and tech are so late. Everyone's taking such funny amount of damage. I don't think they even realize that their SCV count is the same. You know, in a normal TVT, you'll just know. You'll be like, yeah, I'm probably up about one SCV or down about one, or maybe we're even. Uh, but here, it's like they've done so much damage back and forth. I bet they'd both be really surprised to see that they're actually equal <laughs> as far as economy goes. Now, for units... Uh, Four factories are going to be going up here for Rush, but we already have four for Piano. So Piano is going to have uh, a slightly bigger army, I think, and he is flying across the map right now with his dropship. So definitely has some potential for some damage. Now a counter drop coming out from Rush. Rush sending down three Goliaths against two Goliaths and two Vultures. So both kind of scary to deal with. These two Goliaths coming back to defend this back natural. All right, here we go. Uh, three Goliaths being dropped out, and obviously three Goliaths beat two. Some good focus firing here. In the meantime, we do have the drop over at this base. Of course, Sea Shanks will be able to easily push that back. He has to pick up. This one has to pick up as well. And at the end of that, 
Looks like uh, Piano did slightly more damage than Rush here and also didn't lose mining time. So good on him. Gains a little bit of an advantage. Rush now going into mines and speed for his vultures. We don't see a second dropship being made. We don't see any wraiths or anything like that. We do have that dropship still here. And another dropship being made. So yeah, I, I actually kind of like what we're seeing here. Tank Goliath with multiple dropships in a weird scrappy game like this. This could be really powerful for Piano. It's really hard to actually know what your opponent's doing. Again, in these situations where uh, you just... You know, it, as so much damage has happened on both sides, you don't have a really good feeling about what's going on. It's, it, you know, normally uh, if you play a lot of StarCraft, you kind of have like little timers in your head where you're like, oh, I think they have about this much. Oh, it feels like they should be expanding about now. Here in this game, it's just madness. So to put this pressure on, this, I think it's a great idea. And look at this, four siege tanks and four Goliath. Siege mode going to be finishing here for Piano. Let's follow those drop ships up. They are getting ready to do a big drop some scans going down looking for where he can hit some mines being laid in this back natural i think that's really really smart and so he'll actually after doing a couple scans and realizing that rush has too many units here to really drop he drops his units outside the main base and sets up a little bit of a contain this is actually a really nice move but with double drop ship it seems like Rush is already ready to kind of break out of here, whether he wants to just ferry units around or he wants to drop on top of the army. Either way, we do see that he's thrown down a lot of spider mines out on the map. This gives him some fantastic vision. You can see a vulture down here as well. He's got a floating barracks. He's trying to see uh, his opponent come in from absolutely any angle. Now, three more dropships flying up the map from Piano. Don't think he's going to make any more dropships at this point. Uh, not now, at least. A third command center coming up. Rush, we don't have that third command center as of yet. Sends out an SCV, sees that, in fact, there are a ton of siege chinks outside his base. He can't really break that with what he's got. And he's actually not got as many dropships, so that makes it kind of hard, because sometimes you see players counter dropships with dropships. If your opponent has dropships flying around with tanks and goliaths, and then you also fly around with tanks and goliaths, Anywhere they drop to try to break any of your contains, you can drop as well. So that makes it uh, kind of difficult for the aggressor to get anything done, and the defender can defend relatively easily. So uh, this is a very good counter for Piano to be flying around with these. Now Rush drops out a few siege tanks to the side. Looks like he wants to ferry his army out. Maybe he's going to do a flank, like attack down from both angles and also drop on top of the army. That could be a very effective way to clear this. Other than that, I mean, he could walk around and set up his own contain as well. But with the amount of dropships out on the map, I'm not sure that that's the best way. Now, look at this expansion from Piano. Not something I would expect ex uh, expanding right here. But it's actually very close to his units, so it does make some sense. Now, he's moving out with a big chunk of his army. Going to be taking that third base. This is a lower uh, amount of gas in this one. So it's a great third base, but not as rich as a normal third base would be. All right, now this army moving down. Still unsure about what Rush's plan is. Adding some more factories here. He is getting his third command center. Oh, and a push up suddenly from Piano. He's going to siege right outside the ramp. I'm not sure what his aims are here. There's just there's enough units that you're never going to get anything done. But, well, I guess if the SCD comes out of the side, you can slow down the construction of this command center. Really annoying for Rush to deal with. Now, this army moved around. Looks like he forced a cancel of Piano on his fourth base. A Piano does have some siege tanks in siege mode here at his third, so he's going to be able to hold on there. Lots of siege tanks in production. No plus one attack as of yet, but that makes sense. In some of these weird lower economy games, you do skip the, out on that for quite a while. Now, Rush, I think he's getting ready to try to bust. Oh, I don't know about this. He is going for quite a flank, though. The dropships trying to decide what to do. They initially started going up there and then decided to go back behind. I think going behind was the right play. So he drops on top of the flank, and he will clear this flank. It looks like most of his frontal part of the push, or the contain, rather, is going to get cleaned up. But they've been pretty efficient, and now he's just set up another level, another layer of this containment. Very annoying right now for Rush to try to deal with this. But he does have his third command center. He's got to cut him down here. 
and take over this space. It is so important. But Piano pushing forward. He's just got superior supply right now, knocking out those Siege Tanks and Goliaths. And this base is not going to be able to be taken right now. Piano definitely in control of this game. Taking a new fourth base. Vulture not seeing it. Five drop ships now coming up. He can either reinforce or try to do a drop. You know, when your opponent is trying to break through, their main base does empty out. So there are some potentials for a lot of damage to be dealt now. All right, loads up. Oh, he actually could drop on top of the Sea Chanks as well. A lot of options open right now for Piano. He's just got more drop ships. He's got a bigger army. See this command center spotting some. We see a lot of scans going down on either side. A bit of a no man's land here. You know, a lot of times in TVT, you just put so much economic pressure on your opponent by setting up these contains that it forces them to make a bad move to take some sort of desperate gambit. But uh, we haven't seen what Rush is going to do as far as that goes. He lands his command center behind the tanks so that he can mine some more gas. It's not a bad move, right? If you can't land your command center here, you can still mine some minerals long distance. You can still mine the gas at full efficiency. And at least he gets some more income. That's important. Scan goes down from Piano. Sees that line of siege tanks. All right, sieging back up. A lot of dropships here now for Rush. I think Rush is going to make a big move. Whether it's going to be flying towards the main base, which is covered with turrets, so that might not be so smart. Or possibly trying to bust this. The problem is, once again, he's got so many dropships to actually counter any movement that happens like that. More and more Goliaths and tanks coming up for Piano. Okay, here we go. Five dropships flying down the side of the map. Six dropships, though, ready to counter. Tons of missile turrets in here. Yeah, I think Rush knows this is just about the end. Okay, he's going to go ahead and drop, but he's going to take massive damage here on the dropships. And even though he gets a lot of units out, the SCVs are fighting. Here come even more dropships. And without a doubt, this will get cleaned up very, very quickly. I don't know. There's not much left here for Rush at this point. He's got good supply, but a lot of it's in vultures. It, like, this is just so cost efficient. Now, here we go. He brings his SCVs as well. Maybe the last stand here for Rush. He's got to break out of here. He has to gain control of his part of the map. But here comes Piano. He's reloaded up his dropships, ready to reinforce his containment. He's going to go ahead and drop a few of these tanks still left over. Moves forward. Sieges up once again. And Rush is going to maintain or uh, is stay in the containment, basically. Poor Rush here. There's just really no way out for him. Piano has closed almost every door, but Rush continues to try to push. He actually does pretty efficiently there. He kills off a few of the extra siege tanks. Piano not having as much vision as maybe he wants. He has his command center landed where he wants it. He actually has another command center that he wants to bring over here, but we see those preemptive missile turrets actually almost catching it on fire. And he's going to drop some vultures out, maybe get some scouting done, maybe some light harassment. We do have that fourth base up and mining right now for a piano, but it's got some good defense there as well. A few mines going out onto the map. And Piano just continues to beast it up in this game. Like, look at this. He's got a huge SCV count. He's got a gigantic army. He's, well, I guess he lost his barracks, so he's actually still on four factories somehow. But honestly, his movement has just been good enough that he's in a great position. In fact, decides he can kill him. Don't know about that siege, but drops all over the army of Rush here. And, I mean, Rush is low. GG is called, and Piano takes the lead 2-1. to one.